Hello everyone, welcome back to my video. I'm really excited to talk to you guys today about something that's been coming up a lot, uh, you know, for new developers who are, or people who are looking to get into development, and that is which programming language should you learn first? And I think this is such a big topic because, you know, you're investing so much of your time and energy into learning a programming language, and if you, you know, you feel like you're investing this time and it's not really paying off, it can be really frustrating. Um, so having kind of a clear understanding as to what programming language you're learning and to why you're learning that programming language, I think is really important. And you know, for me, when I was starting out, it seemed so overwhelming. You know, you Google things like how to code or what to code or different things like that. And you know, you're gonna get thousands of different programming languages come up that, um, and you know, there's obviously different threads that say, oh, JavaScript's the best or, you know, PHP is the best and they'll give their reasons why. And I think, you know, that's very, uh, fair. I think a lot of people have different reasons and loves for different programming languages for reasons and I think there is a reason why there are so many different programming languages and um, yeah so I think just, just finding out which ones work best for you is a really big hurdle to overcome um, more mentally trying to figure out like you know if you're spending your time best um, allocated to learning that language and I just wanted to kind of talk with you guys today about how I found my path and what language I wanted to start learning when I when I initially started learning code and how I knew that it was the right decision for me. I hope you guys enjoy. As usual, subscribe, ring the bell, and come say hi to me on Instagram. And let's build a community. I want to hear all of what you guys are building and doing and up to and what other videos to create. So enjoy, guys. I remember when I first started to learn code, like way back when, um, honestly, if I'm being completely candid, one of the first questions I had was like, wait, Java and JavaScript are not the same, but they're, they're not the same languages. Like Java's not just short for JavaScript. Um, and you know, they're completely different, but those were kind of questions that I had. And I felt kind of silly to ask those questions to people because I, I think it was more in my head, but I was like, oh, what are they going to think of me? Or, you know, how am I going to be perceived? Or should I even learn this? Am I even smart enough to learn this? Which is insane. Everyone is. Um, but those are the questions that I was kind of having in my head. So learning to, or to figure out which programming language to start learning, you know, that's where I started from literally knowing nothing about any of the languages. I just knew I really wanted to get into this world and start coding. Where I started from was I, I just started playing around with HTML and CSS. Both CSS and HTML, there are so many amazing resources online for it and I find they're pretty straightforward to pick up because of all these amazing resources online. So I would definitely suggest starting with CSS and HTML and just really building a strong foundation before you go kind of jumping into the deep end of other languages. Um, and then from there, you can kind of branch off. I chose to do JavaScript from the there. And I'm really happy I did that. I absolutely love JavaScript, especially because, you know, with, there's so many amazing frameworks out there like React and Vue and, um, you know, even being able to use Node now so you can um, create server-side rendering with JavaScript, uh, front and back end. I just, I think it's so versatile now and it's an incredible language. Um, obviously I'm biased because I program in that, but um, I think also to the stats, I think I'll show you right there. Yeah. Um, the stats too, like JavaScript is growing so fast. It's such an incredible language. And I think it is because of how versatile it is. And um, now with Node, you can use it uh, front and back end. I really think that really opened uh, it up to more, more people and made it more people want to start using it. Um, but if you're starting out and past CSS and HTML, you're not sure which language to learn. I would start by Googling companies that you really want to work for. So, you know, if there are companies that only develop in PHP or only develop in Java, I mean, you know, as a side note, I think a lot of companies now develop in more than one language. And I also think, you know, looking at what kind of products you want to be building. Do you want to build, you know, Android apps? Do you want to build iOS apps? Do you want to build both? Do you want to build web apps? And kind of narrowing down the products you want to build and what languages are best used to build those products will also really help narrow down the language that you should be focusing on learning. And I think just kind of going from there. Also, another great way that I kind of narrowed down what language I want to start learning to begin with was I looked at different boot camps in the city and what they were teaching. And my reasoning behind that was a lot of these amazing boot camps um, in your city or in my city, um, they have done tons and tons of research into what to teach their students. And you know, if they are teaching everyone JavaScript or 
PHP or whatever it is that they're teaching, it's probably because they have done their research and talked to so many companies and this is what most is or is most in demand. So I think narrowing it down that way is really great. Also too, if you do plan on attending a bootcamp, um, but learning a bit of programming prior to that, seeing what they will be teaching you is another great way to kind of get a head start on that and learn the basics of that language. Uh, so for me, I, I went to BrainStation and it was, um, the language was JavaScript. So I, I spent a lot of time prior um, practicing and coding in JavaScript to kind of have a strong basis before going into that environment so I could kind of continue building on that. But I mean, even if you're not planning on going to a boot camp, um, just really looking around at different boot camps and what they're teaching, I think is a good way to kind of help narrow it down as well. Another way that's really good to learn what language you want to start investing your time in to learning more is meet with people. Meet with people for coffee. I know I say this a lot, but it's so true. Just meet with people who are other developers or in the community and hear about their experience learning that language and you know different tips and tricks, 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 different tips and tricks that they've had um, learning it and kind of see you know their experience with that and you know if they think it's a good language to learn as well and i mean everyone's experience is so personal and so different however i think having kind of talking to a few different people will give you a strong understanding of you know the general um consent for different languages and kind of how you know the community feels about them and you know because you don't really want to just learn a language because it's hot or sexy right now and then you know in a few months it will kind of die out you want to learn something that will really sustain itself and you can really build a career out of but you're definitely going to be learning more than one language in your your career or your path with coding but um to start with finding one that really excites you and you're passionate about i find is easier when you know that other people have got passion and excited about it too um because there's probably a reason for that so i think that's a great way as well check out how many resources there are online. You know, for instance, when I was learning JavaScript, there are so many incredible resources that are free online that you can kind of start learning from. And um, that really makes it easier to learn a language when there's so many available resources online that are great different kind of coding courses or teaching resources. Um, it makes it a lot more fun and enjoyable when you can kind of take different classes like that. So I also wanted to talk a little bit about why I first decided to learn JavaScript um, over all the other languages. And first of all, my first reason was because everyone was saying it was an incredible language, one of the best languages to learn. So I really, you know, reached out to my network and started talking to people about what programming language I learned and why, as well it really aligned with the jobs that I could see uh, my career going down, like the path I could see my going, myself going down, as well as, you know, if I want to start my own company or freelance, then those kind of things, it really, um, seemed to fit all the categories that I wanted to kind of go down or paths that I wanted to go down. And also to the boot camp that I attended BrainStation, they taught JavaScript. So it seemed like a good fit as well to kind of get a head start on that before I attended the boot camp by, um, you know, learning, learning the basis of it prior. And I'm so happy I learned JavaScript because I, you know, I'm in love with React now, like the framework. Um, that you can use with JavaScript, as well as Vue. I love Vue, and I just think there's so many fun different frameworks that can really make um, JavaScript so powerful and interactive, and as well now with Node that you can use it front and back end. I just think it's it's so powerful, and you know even with React Native, um, which is built in JavaScript, you can build different uh, Android and iOS apps with all encompassing one framework, and I think that's just so powerful and great, and it makes me really excited about JavaScript, and I, you know, the community is huge and so welcoming and excited about the language as well, which makes it a lot fun. I hope you guys enjoyed my video on what programming language to learn. I know I didn't give you a straight answer, but that's because I really think it's a personal choice on what language to start learning. Um, and you know, I hope you know my experience by learning JavaScript and really making that the initial language I learned was such a good experience and to kind of give you some insight into that. I really think though that as long as you're learning some language or you know one language, um, that you can't really go wrong and you're not really wasting your time because no matter what language you're learning, you're still learning. And I think a lot of the basics or basis of a lot of the different languages transfer over, you know, whether it's if and else statements or for loops, you know, the syntax might change, but the basis of it stays the same. Um, so it really, you know, if you're learning whatever you're learning, I think it's still valuable and you'll gain something out of that, even if it's just how learning how you learn further into that. Um, 
I think it's you can't go wrong but I would definitely suggest checking out JavaScript um, but that's me being biased to begin with just because I've had such a great experience with it and I mean there are so many great jobs out there for it and you know opportunities that I think you really can't go go wrong with it and I hope you guys enjoyed my video as usual please let me know what you think about it and if you have any questions let me know and I'll see you guys soon bye guys